What's up guys, Milak here, and today we're gonna to be talking about Type M, or also known as the Magna. So there's quite a few different Magna creatures. I'm sure there's gonna be more in the future, but right now we have the Magna Rex and we have the Magna Raptor. Magna Raptor is not out yet. Obviously, the Magno Rex is in game. I do have some footage of it if you want to see it. Now, the reason we're talking about this is a lot of people have been asking me questions, and I'm sure there's a lot of people asking questions in the Isle Discord. Is Magna a strain? And to be honest, I don't really know the answer to that. Um, I'm going to, I've been saying no initially, but it might actually be a strain, or at least a perfected strain. Now, there's a lot of theories around the Magna and the way it works. And the biggest theory I think that has the most, I guess, proof based on what people have been saying, a lot of people think, and also, Dondi gave a little clap emoji to this. Uh, now, Alien said, IMO, I think the strains are deliberate and intentional, probably not cannibals though. And then Rio Stone said, if it was deliberate, then the hypos were the first to be made, then the M type is a way to fix the hypo extreme energy use. So as we know, the hypo, has a very high metabolism. They have to constantly be eating, and it seems like that's their main flaw. And from what I see right here, it seems like the M-Type, the Magna, was made as like a fixed version of the Hypo. It doesn't have the extreme energy use, but it still has all the, the armor, the damage, the speed that the Hypo does have. That brings up the question, were the Hypo, the Neuro, and then the Tisso made for military purposes? And where did they get these strains? How did they develop them? And just where did they come from? You know, we don't really know how they were originally developed or if maybe some of these strains occurred naturally in the wild with the Colossus, the Mastermind, and the Reaper. We don't, I don't know. But yeah, the Magna seems to be a fixed version of the Hypo strain. It says Type M seems to be a fixed version of Type H. Generally seems more outfitted for tactical use. I don't know of the Magna Tyrannus' abilities yet, but I know the Magna Raptor is an OP tracker. To quote Dondi, its scent will actually be stupid. Stupidly strong, that is. <laughs> We've already seen what a Type M Rex is capable of, though, killing a Type H counterpart. We also know it doesn't need to eat nearly as much as the Hyper Endocrine counterparts. Maybe that's a part of the perfected aspect, an extremely efficient digestive tract that allows it to make the most out of what it eats. You know, so it keeps going like this. So yeah, it seems a lot of people think that the Magnet is basically a perfected version of the Hypo. So it's a really cool theory. I think actually the Magna being a perfected version of the Hypo is probably true. As far as theories go, I think this is true, and I think this is the way the Magnas do work. Um, so I guess we'll find out in the future, but Dondi giving a little clap right here basically kind of uh, tells us everything we need to know, that the Magnas and the Hypos are related. So this is where you come in. Do you think the Magna is perfected Hypo strain? What do you think the purposes of all the strains are? Do you think they were used for military purposes or what? I'd really love to know your thoughts and opinions down below, so let me know. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna be talking about is terrain alignment. Now, Dondi recently streamed this. Basically what it means is whenever, normally, the way it works now is whenever you're a creature, you walk up and down hills or any sort of rock faces or whatever, his head will face directly inside of the ground or if you're walking down the hill, his front legs will kind of float in the air. And that's because they walk on a, uh, a flat surface. They don't actually conform to the terrain. Now what the Owl team is working on right now is they're actually working on making it so they conform to the train. So you can see from this trike, uh, he's actually facing upwards when he walks. He's facing downwards when he walks. His feet are actually at the right angle, which is perfect. Terrain alignment is definitely gonna increase our immersion and it's gonna make the game seem more realistic. It's probably gonna help combat and several other scenarios as well. Maybe you won't go flying off into space as much anymore. Okay, so just as an example, we're gonna show the old system right here. This is the way they walk now. As you can see, their feet aren't aligned to the terrain. Their body in general isn't aligned to the terrain. And uh, their face just kind of sticks straight into the mountainside. Yeah, and this applies to all creatures. So with the new terrain alignment, they're gonna be way better. Their body angle is actually gonna be fixed and uh, their feet position will be fixed as well. So I, I'm assuming this is gonna bring a vast amount of improvements to the game in general. 
but yeah terrain alignment is coming it's definitely really really cool i'm excited about it now it seems like there's a few bugs and a few things they're working on because if you look at it uh on the hypo rex right here his legs are kind of like it, they're probably going to be some bugs because their legs are kind of kind of bent and contorted a little bit so or i guess their feet are so it's a little weird right now i'm sure it'll get fixed and it also seems like the hypo rex's back doesn't really face upwards at all either so maybe that's not fully done but yeah i'm assuming it's going to come to all the creatures here shortly and uh, they got to do a lot of tweaking and animation changes and whatever else they have to do with this new system and also look at this puerta he's like glitching around everywhere he's flying around he's going crazy man he's going crazy one thing i'd like to point out is this trike right here apparently this trike needs some jesus that's what the clip said um <laughs> just watch him swim dude this is <laughs> Oh my god. And that brings us to our last little bit of changes here, which is basically the T-Rex. Yeah, so the T-Rex has got a full range sweep of new animations and also it sounds like new sounds uh, from its one to uh, one to four roar and F roar. Uh, everything seems to be improved animation wise and sound wise. They I like the sounds seem to be a little subtle, but I'm pretty sure that they're there. Now they have uh, fully done, I guess, idle animations now too. And then the biting and drinking and attacking animations have been changed as well. So. There's a lot of stuff. I think the running animation might just be improved a little bit. It seems mostly the same. But yeah, the T-Rex is doing no stat changes so far that I know of. Um, but it seems to be really good. They're doing a full range of everything, man. Seems to be awesome. Now, I did talk about this during my last video, but the full T-Rex update wasn't out yet. And in my comments, if you looked at my comments, I did a full range of changes that happened that day. And I had footage from the previous day in the previous update. So yeah, I already kind of covered it, but I just didn't cover it with video footage, I guess. So yeah, there you go, guys. There you go. That is pretty much everything as far as T-Rex is concerned. Okay, well, that's basically everything I know. Uh, so in the future, you can expect terrain alignment. You can also expect that the Rex and Utah have gotten some animation and, uh, I guess, sound improvements. You'll probably see that with the Giga soon, the Carno, and then the rest of the creatures that are currently in survival mode. And I, I'm guessing in the future, we'll probably see that for the other creatures added in survival mode as well. So a few of the creatures have got some new models like the Giga and stuff, so we might see some new models in the future for that as well. But yeah, the, I mean, the Isle is doing all kinds of cool stuff right now. Now, a lot of you guys asked me about the Hypo Carno last time, too. I don't really know much about the Hypo Carno. We do have some art for that, but as far as I know, I don't think there's a model for it. So I have no idea when that's actually going to be in the game. Also, I apologize for the weird frames I'm getting right now. It's not the game. It's my OBS that's being weird. I've had this problem with Isle before. Yeah, sometimes it's good, sometimes it's really weird. I have no idea why. Now, off camera, I've been doing a lot of progression. I've got to Carno... Uh, Rex before they nerf the progression for Rex. Oh, yeah That's one thing I should mention is they're probably still tweaking the babies and T-Rex progression got nerfed pretty hard Like really hard you it takes a lot longer to grow now And I think they did that to prevent the mega packs that are happening because if you know on dev 4 where there's 200 people playing and it's usually maxed out all the time the server crashes a lot But the big problem with that is it's really hard to progress because there's so many people on the map and everyone's trying to get food. So everyone kills babies. A lot of crazy shit happens on Dev 4. And you'll actually see mega pi uh, packs between Gigas, Rexes, and Trikes. So I'm guessing they're, I guess, making the progression longer for Rexes to prevent Rex mega pi uh, packs. Killing everything and doing that kind of stuff. We might see that with Gigas here in the future. I'm not sure if Giga progression has been changed. But yeah, there's, there's a lot of changes going on to prevent that. All kinds of, I guess, things that people are taking advantage of. Yeah, Dev 4 is by far the most chaotic and shitty server we have so far. Dev 4 is pretty bad. Dev 4 is really bad. Right now, I'm not playing on Dev 4. We're playing on a uh, sandbox. 
uh, server so where you can pick anything. But yeah, off camera, I've just been I've been progressing everything. I've basically got to everything at this point, and I'm just kind of having fun with the game. Now, some new gameplay videos will be coming soon. I'm sure some of you guys missed those, but I'm kind of waiting for a new creature to come out. You guys have seen me progress and also do survival for almost every creature in the game. I'm really waiting for Dino to come out, uh, maybe some Hypos. Also, I'm waiting until I can play the uh, Hypo Utah or the, I guess, Neuro Spino on the one in the box server. If we actually get that, uh, Dondi might end up shutting them down at some point in the future if they end up adding uh, Neuro Spino. I don't know. Maybe they can do Neuro Spino now. I have no idea. But anyways, guys, I'm going to go ahead and call it here. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, remember to smash the like button. Love your faces, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Also, if there's any changes that's happened that I don't know about, uh, I guess stat changes, size changes, animation changes, baby changes, whatever, let me know down below. I'd greatly appreciate it. And also, remember, uh, comment down below what you think about the Magna and what its purpose is.